Hi everyone, Father Neil here. St. John the Baptist, we often say that we're family and we really mean that because we value our family. And so it's bittersweet when we come to a crossroads where some of our family transition into a space where they put their family at home first. Kelly McGuinnon, beloved teacher here at St. John's, will be moving on to spend time at home as a stay-at-home mom. Her and her husband have discerned that it's best for her and her family. And so we say goodbye to Kelly we have a message from her here. Hi, St. John's families. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Kelly McGuigan Ficklin. I teach second grade at St. John's. Uh, and I just want to thank everyone um, so much for everything that you have done for me during my time at St. John's. I truly feel that you guys are my family um, and I have been so very blessed to work and live and um, grow in my faith beside each and every one of you. Uh, you and your children have been an absolutely incredible blessing in my life and I'm grateful beyond anything that I could say here um, for each and every one of you and the impact that you have had on me and um, for you allowing me to be able to work with your kiddos every day. Thank you for trusting me in that. Thank you for um, the way you've helped me to grow and thank you for um, just everything that St. John's is because the people of St. John's and um, the spirit of God working in that place are what make me absolutely love and feel like it is home. So thank you for that. Um, that being said, I have made the difficult decision to say goodbye to my home at St. John's for right now. Um, I am going to stay home with my son Everett and our soon to be born daughter um, and do the stay at home mom thing next year. So um, it was an incredibly difficult decision to make because I absolutely love St. John's. I love the people. Um, I will miss that place because of the community that I have grown to love being a part of. Um, you guys have celebrated some of my biggest moments with me. You've taught me through your incredible example what it means uh, to be generous and loving and to follow Jesus and to instill that faith in your children. So thank you so much for all that you have done. Um, please know that I am praying for you always. Um, I'm only a phone call or a text away. I truly pray that you will keep in touch and let me know how your kids are doing. Um, and as I say to the kiddos at the end of the day, um, I'm sending big hugs and may God bless you and keep you safe always. Thank you. God bless you. Our beloved principal, Mrs. Beerline, has also been discerning with her husband her need to be at home with her family. And so she'll join us through the rest of the year and will uh, not be returning next year. Here's a message from Courtney. Hello, St. John's families. I have been so blessed by the opportunity to work and grow in such a loving community and especially blessed by your kids. Together we have conquered challenges and we have delighted in success, in particular is the success that we have seen in enrollment, which is set to continue for the next school year. I have seen the dedication that you have for your kids through your supportive actions and your engagement in their learning. I find myself called to follow your lead and return home. In these times, the Lord has walked with us and I know that he's leading me not away from St. John's, but home to my family. St. John's is a holy place and God is at work here. It has been my honor and it has been my privilege to serve this community. I am grateful to our families, children, teachers, staff, parishioners, and to Father Neil. I will remember my time here with love and St. John's will always be in my prayers. We also have a couple of special people here who have a message for everyone. Hello everyone, my name is Gail Dorn from the Catholic School Center of Excellence and I want to just to greet everyone in the St. John School and Parish community uh, to let you know that Cisco is thinking of you. Uh, we love and support your beautiful school and we look forward to working with you in the future months and years uh, to strengthen your school and to watch it grow. Father Neil, uh, we're fully supportive of your leadership and enjoy working with you. And we're so proud of everything that you and your parish and your school have accomplished to date. And Courtney, good luck to you. Thank you for your service. You, you have uh, shown great leadership and we're excited about the future of St. John's and we're also wishing you the very, very best future with you and your family. Okay, everyone at St. John's, uh, we're looking forward to working with you. We support you and we love you. God bless. Greetings, parents and prisoners at St. John's in Jordan. I just wanna take a moment to recognize and thank Mrs. Courtney Beerline for her years of work at your school. Thank you, Courtney, for your dedication and your compassion with the families and students of St. John's. You went out of your way to make your school feel like a family. At this moment of transition, I also want you all to know 
that the Archdiocese is very supportive of the great work that is going on at St. John's and very supportive of the vision that continues to be set forth by parish leadership. I have full confidence you are on the right track and that God is going to bring an amazing new principle to your school. Father Neal tells me often about your successes and how hard you all work to support your parish school. Know of my continued prayers for you and thank you for all you do to prepare the way of the Lord at St. John's. While we search for the perfect principle, we've put together something called the Principal's Council, which is made up of a number of people in our parish and school who are very dedicated and committed to excellence in Catholic education. One of them being Sue Colling, who will take a year off from teaching and pivot into a leadership role as our educational leader, part of the council. Here's a message from Sue. Hi. I recently asked to take a sabbatical year for the school year 2020-2021 because members of my immediate family um, are going through some major life transitions and I want to be available um, to support them as a mom and as a daughter in a way that full-time classroom teaching doesn't allow. And while I'm glad in my heart for the opportunity to have more time to focus on my home family, um, that decision brought a measure of sadness at the thought of missing my school family. Therefore, this opportunity to serve on this team during St. John's time of transition, it, um, it's, it excites me. And I, I just love this place. Um, and so I'm very eager to help set the table for this next phase of our journey together. With change often comes opportunity. I'm very confident that we're following God's plan here. And so over the next few weeks, we'll be putting together a search committee to find that perfect principle. It'll be made up of people from the parish, people from the school, the school advisory council, parish council, things like that. Those people will help us to find the perfect person to fit the needs of our school. We'll also be searching for two teachers to fill those roles of second grade and fifth, sixth grade. I have unwavering hope that God has a plan for us all in this. So continue to join me in praying for that person out there who is just waiting for this job to open up to become the next great leader of St. John the Baptist School. Thank you and may God bless us all.